everybody welcome back to the channel in this video I am going to see if I can update they call it upgrade but it really is an update from Windows 8.1 to Windows 11 now I've been wanting to do this for a little bit but I figured hey now's the time to do it um, as you saw, I went from Windows 7 to Windows 11. Now, I am doing it the unsupported way, and I'm doing it on my own hardware for educational purposes. And yes, that's what it is. So, as you can see, I have Windows 8.1 Pro, and it has the build number. Now, the reason I want to try this is, is Windows 7 was pretty smooth when I went from Windows 7 to Windows 11. I wanted to see how smooth it is going from Windows 8.1 to Windows 11. Now, uh, I'm going to have to say there are variables. I know I said this before. It depends on your hardware. It depends on that and how it reads things, whether, whether your drive you have and all that. So there's a ton of variables here. But... I'm doing this the unsupported way just to see if it'll work. So, uh, this is Windows 8, so what you do is you go to the file. And for those that of you that don't know, Windows 8.1 puts the Windows Start button in. Uh, in Windows 8, they didn't have that, so they came out with 8.1, and it solved that problem. Okay, so, just like last time, double-click. It's going to ask me if I want to do it. And yes, I'll have two installations of Windows 11 side by side. I like to do that so that way I have one perfect copy and I have another copy that I messed with so you can see one that's not messed with compared to the one that has been messed with. So, so far so good. Still reading the disk. So this should take about the same amount of time as it did with Windows 10, because basically Windows 10 is a Windows 8 update, and Windows 11 is a Windows 10 upda update. So basically. Even though it's a completely different operating system, they're all kind of based off each other, if that makes any sense. Because when Windows 10 came out, it was originally an update for Windows uh, 8. But Windows 11 is a free upgrade from Windows 10. So I'm going to set it up the same. We're going to click Next. Now I gave this, as you saw, the partition. When I did the Windows partition, I had to make sure I gave it enough space to do what I needed to do. So, now here's an interesting thing. I need a serial number just to update Windows 8. Windows 7, you didn't need that, but Windows 8, you do. So let me put in my activation code, and I will be right back. All right, so it's a day later, and I had to change computers. Unfortunately, the e-machine would not take, for some reason, uh, was acting fun Windows was acting funny with that machine. So I went to my testing station number one, and I activated it. So 
So what's going to happen is, is I'm going to do this the unsupported way. Now, what I recommend doing since this is Windows 8 is keep your computer disconnected from the internet for safekeeping because when you install Windows 8, the latest update for it, um, what happens is is it makes you if you're connected to the network, it'll make you try to uh, it'll make you say, hey, you need a Microsoft account. So if you install it. I know I did that in another video, keep it offline. So for the sake of this, I'm going to keep it offline for the meantime. Now, here's what's going to happen. I am going to launch that. And I already tested it up to this point to see if it'll work. It'll work. Now, mind you, you have to have Windows 8 activated, otherwise it's going to ask you for a serial number. And if you don't have it, Windows 8 will not let you do it. Windows 7, I had the serial number, which I realize I did. Even though I said earlier I didn't have it activated, I did. I just forgot that I had activated it, just to clear up some confusion. So. As you can see, the user account control is asking me, hey, you want to do this? I want to click yes. Now, it's going to be the same, but I just want to see how this would handle it. So we are right here. It's working so far so good. So here's what you want to do. Click not right now, just like Windows 7. Now note that this is a my other testing computer. So right now it's going to work because I got to this point. So I'm going to click accept. It's going to ask me what I want to keep. It's going to take a little bit of time, which is okay. So now before I click hey I want to do this I gotta plug the computer back into the network so turn on my switch networking switch not the other kind of switch if you're a gamer you know what I mean alright so everything is turned back on and now we click install So as usual, this is what's going to happen again. It's going to go through its paces. It's going to do what it needs to do. All right, it is now done with this part of the installation. So what I have to let it do, just like going from Windows 7 to Windows 11, I had to let it install where it's the black screen and all that stuff. So what will happen is it'll go into that screen and what you will see is the stuff that it needs to be doing. So what's going to happen here 
is just like what happened when I went from Windows 7 to Windows 11 and even when you install it. It's going to start reading the disk and it's going to go install the files. So hopefully here soon it'll come back up and it'll be installing. So just like last time, you see the pinwheel. And there we go. It is now updating to Windows. 11. So this will take a little bit, just like the last time, but it will work. All right, so it is at 86%. This has been about 20 minutes later. So what's going to happen here is once it's done, it's going to restart and it's going to go into the operating system like it did when I first installed it and when I updated it to Windows 11 from Windows 7. So it shouldn't be too much longer and you'll see what I am talking about. In a second here. And, as you notice, it is going faster. My testing station computer number one, which is what this is installing on, is, as I said before, it's a little bit more powerful than the e-machine. So once the computer restarts, it's going to go into the first initial startup, as you will see shortly.
so it is now at a hundred percent and it should restart at any second And once it restarts, it's going to go into the desktop. So, as you can see, it says please wait because it's doing the final um, checking before it goes in to the operating system itself but it should restart after this And just like last time, it's going to go where it says, Hi, we are getting things set up for you. In a few seconds, it'll show up again. those blue and purple uh, image in the background will show up. And there we go. I stated this in one of my previous videos. I like this better than the background changing colors. I think this is more fun to watch. That is the graphics card driver wigging out a little bit This should be done shortly. And it's going crazy again.
there we go so we are at this screen again and you can do this you could do this just like last time Click accept. There we go. We are at the desktop. There we go. For some reason it says I don't have network connectivity. I don't know why, but but it's also still going into it. So as you can see, it actually installed. Which is awesome. It's still processing it. So once it's done, I'll be able to show you exactly what's going on here. There we go, the calculator showed up. So obviously you can't go from Windows 8.1 to Windows 11 with no particular issue as long as you have Windows 8.1 activated you're fine. So just to see what works. There we go, so that program opened up. Let's see what else will open up. Calculator. Alright, so that's a basic overview of that. So anyway, with that said, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click that bell for more notifications.